Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of that are new, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. And this video, what I wanna to talk to you guys about is logos, logos for shirts. This is something that I get a lot of questions about, like how do, how do I do it? What are things that need to be considered um, when you're embroidering? And it can be really, really tricky at times, okay? Especially if you're brand new to embroidery and you really don't understand um, thread weight and needle size. So what I wanna do is um, I wanna show you how I go about doing it. I do have an order right now to do four polo shirts for the Dominion Williams Club. And I do have their logo on here, but I also brought out some other additional logos that I've done with other businesses, just so that I can better explain how you determine what type of thread weight to use and also what type of needle size to use as well okay so let's get started and um i'm going to talk to you guys first about the order that i have okay now these are the polo shirts that i am going to be embroidering for the um dominions women's club okay this is I'm not going to be the the one that i use but if i'm using this as an example I'll, I'll talk to you guys about this one later but this is the brand of the polo shirt that they chose which is Port Authority. They're very, very good for embroidery. And she gets them from Jiffy Shirts. Um, Jiffy Shirts is, is pretty good. I, I kind of like the quality of their shirts and they have a lot of brands and different types of shirts. So you should really check them out and their prices really seem to be kind of reasonable. So anyway, usually what happens is I'm not in the business of the shirts. So when I have um, customers that come to me and say that they want their logos to be placed on shirts, I usually direct them to certain sites so that they can order their shirts, right? Once they bring their shirts to me, they want their logos to be embroidered on the shirts as well, okay? This is actually the logo that is going to be on the shirt um, for the club. And it's going to be like, you know, like right around there. Of course, I do have my hooping station that's right here, which is what I use in order to um, make sure that the shirt gets, uh, in, you know, the, the logo gets in, um, embroidered on the right place. Okay. But let's talk about the details because that's what I want to talk to you guys about in this video. Okay. Now, when a customer comes to me, um, and wants to do the shirts, I tell them where to get the shirts from. And then what is really the most time consuming part is when you're working on their logo. Now, one of the things that I always tell the customers is that I need a very good, clear, and I really want to stress clear. You don't want anything blurry or stuff like that. You want a, a, uh, clear picture of their design. Now, the reason why I say that is because I don't do the digitizing myself. I go to digitizers and I give them the file and then they'll go ahead and they create the embroidery file for me. Some people do both. They do the embroidery and they do the digitizing, um, you know, but I am more of a machinist, so I like to get this digitized. So anyway, let's talk about the details of this, um, of this, logo for a minute okay as you can see in their logo they have small fonts all right the small fonts is on the top over here and it says sisters and strength and sisterhood right around here i have established 2007 and i also have the name of the club right here as well the rest of it is not lettering it's not small lettering okay so all of this area right here that you see, like the red that you see right here, you see the black in the background over here, even the white and you see the gray and even this red area that is right here, um, that is all solid areas. They're not small fonts. So in those type of areas, I use a 40 weight thread, okay? Now, a 40 weight thread, I use a 75 11 size needle now look at the small lettering now this is really small and because the lettering is very small it's going to be important for you to make sure that you're using the right weight thread with the right needle so that when it is done in bordering you can read it okay because if you use something like a 40 weight thread um sometimes you can read it other times it can come out kind of thick 
and if it comes out kind of thick, it's going to be really hard to tell the letters apart. Okay, so it's just something for you guys to think about. So in these instances, what I use is a 60 weight thread. And I sew the 60 weight thread with a with a 65 nine needle. Okay, so just wanted to let you guys know. Now, sometimes when I first started, okay, <laughs> people start to think, oh, well, if I have something like this, I, I stitch out the whole thing in 60 weight uh, thread. No, you don't do that because when you do that, what ends up happening is you can have something like this. And I'm putting it real close to the camera so that you guys can see. I want you to pay attention to this red area and I want you to see this black area right here. You can see the back of the fabric. See the white? And you see the white in the red? Okay, this is this area is in 60 weight thread. Okay, now I'm going to bring the other one back. And you can see right here the difference. This is 40 weight thread and the black area is 40 weight thread too. You don't see the fabric. You don't see white of, you know, specks of white in here. It's solid red. See that? Now I'm going to give you the visual again. This whole thing was done in 60 weight, including the background. And look at the difference. You see that? Especially at the black end see okay so this is what I'm talking about when I say you really need to know what weight thread to use and what needle size to use okay so when I did this okay this is a bigger one too this is four by four well no it's nice uh yeah this is a four by four and then now I stitched it again using 40 weight thread. And as you can see, look right here, look how solid. So you can see the difference. You can literally see the difference. See the white? See how solid? Okay. But this, of course, was too big. This was a four by four. Okay. When you do logos, you really want to stick to the three by three size. Okay, because that would look better on the shirt. It really would. Okay, you don't want logos to be popping out too big. Um, if you make them this big, this is best used if you're using them for tote bags, backpacks, stuff like that. Okay, but as for shirts, no, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Okay, now I want to show you also other logos that I've worked with. All right, and let me also show you the needles that I work with as well when I'm working with my designs. Now, I am a big fan of the Oregon needles. Um, I like them. Um, I know there's another brand out there called Swartz or something like that. Um, they're good as well, but these are the needles that I use, okay? And I also wanna show you the threads as well. I use Madeira thread, okay? These small combs that you see right here, this is the 60 weight thread, okay? And it says it, right here and i'm sure it'll focus there you go see 60 weight 60 weight thread and on top over here focus here 1918 that's the the number of the thread okay um same thing with the white okay 60 weight and the red so what where do i put these on okay when i am embroidering this section right here, okay, and this section right here, this is the thread that I use, which is 60 weight, and I use it with this needle, which is 65.9, okay? All right, so then when I am embroidering the outer edge, because this is just a border, okay, this is just a border, it can be in a 40 weight thread, when I am embroidering this section right here, which is the red, the black, here is the white, Here's the gray, okay? I use that. So, um, you know, this estimated, estimated 2017. Here's my red, 60 weight, okay? As for the sisterhood, 60 weight right there. It's okay. All with, um, sorry, I picked the wrong needle, 65.9, okay? All the background, this, 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 
This is my needle for this edging, okay? And regular 40 weight thread, okay? This is 40 weight, all right? So, um, yeah, let me show you some examples of other logos that I have done. This is for SK Customs. I did their, their shirts as well. Um, let me take it out here so we can take a look at some of the um, well, not digitizing, some of the designs that I've made for them. Okay, right here. Now, I'm going to tell you all of this is 40 weight. The reason why is because this is really not that small compared to this. Okay? I want to show you guys because this is important because... See how this is so much bigger than this? This is fine doing 40 weight thread. This is fine, 40 weight. So this whole design right here, 40 weight thread. I didn't even have to touch the 60, okay? Same thing with here, okay? This is just as big. This is not small fonts, okay? So all of this, 60 thread, of course. I mean, I'm sorry, 40 thread. 40 weight thread, 40 weight thread. I don't, they're not small fonts. These are not small fonts. And I don't know if I said that, but this is all 40 weight as well. 40 weight, 40 weight thread. Of course, this is big. So 40 weight thread, 40 weight thread. Okay. All right. So for this, you know, I hope you guys are getting the idea. All right. So that's for SK Customs when I worked on their on their stuff and put this on the side okay i have a medical group that i worked with and i did their logo on their their uh medical staff's uniforms okay all this 40 weight this I could have went either or. I could have did 40 weight or I could have did 60 weight. This is done in 60 weight. It looked really good. So the customer was happy with it, like the, the 60 weight look. So we went with this, okay? If I did 40 weight, this would have been just as fine. It just would have been a little darker. That's about it, okay? So here's another one that I did, okay? And I also want to tell you on this one, I should have done some improvements. Now, this was very small fonts. I mean, talk small fonts. Of course, looking at this, this area right here is 60 weight thread with a 65.9 needle. All this portion right here, 40 weight, okay? Regular 40 weight thread with 75.11 needle. The name Jimmy. This I did with a 60 weight thread. I should have did a 40 because as you can see, there's little spaces in there. I would have got a more solid stitch on this when I used the, the 40 weight. Now, when I stitched out the jackets for this customer, I did do the 40 weight on here. This was the sample, okay, that I showed the customer. They were happy with it. But I let them know up front this was going to be more filled in because I was going to use the 40 weight instead of the 60 weight. All right. But my focus was mostly down here because I needed this to be very clear. All right. Now, of course, on the finished products, I did cut out the little jump stitches that you see on here. But my whole thing was to make sure that it's readable. Okay, because if you, if I would have used 40 weight thread down here, the thick one, then what would have happened is this would have been more bolder and it would have been more difficult to read. Okay, so that's why it's pretty important for you to know what thread weight to use when, especially when you're working on logos. Okay, so guys, I just wanted to do a really quick video for you guys so that you guys can kind of have a better understanding of when to use what type of weight thread and when to use um, what type of size 
needle. As you start to embroider and you embroider um, logos for businesses, this is really important information that you're gonna really need to know because you're gonna want your stitch outs to come out just like this. Crisp, clean, very easy to read. Um, you know, you want a solid, solid product, okay? You don't want something where people are gonna be squishing their eyes and they're gonna be trying to guess what it says, all right? So anyway, guys, I got to get to work. I got four of these shirts that I have to embroider today um, and have them delivered by tomorrow with this logo. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get to work, and I hope you guys like this informative video, and I hope it helps. And if you have any comments, please put them in the comment section below. And, you know, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot. And, um, you know, please subscribe. So I will talk to you guys later. Happy sewing and happy embroidering. Bye.